Mr. Nandan Nilikani, Chairman of Infosys and an investor in startups, talked about failure. It gained significance against the backdrop of the sad demise of Cafe Coffee Day founder and it has lessons for all of us. He said, you need a social fabric which delinks failure from the person, which actually recognizes that failure is a tremendous experience, which is likely to increase the probability of success next time. Here, the failure, the person and the institution get entwined and that leads to consequences. We tend to think that some achieve success while most only aspire to it. But stories of successful people tell us how they faced multiple failures before reaching success. As organizations try to innovate and bring in fresh ideas to stay relevant, you hear a new mantra, it's okay to fail. But let's face it, failure is a dreaded word for each one of us at a deeply personal level. It's not okay to fail. Whether the failure is a student not getting into medical or the IIT that he wanted to, or the executive not getting the promotion she had hoped for, failure is shame inducing and painful. It shakes us to our core, severely impacting our moods, emotions and confidence. Drawing lessons from Nandan's talk, we need to de-link failure from the person. Failure is an action, not a person. Unfortunately, failure has moved from an action to an identity. I am a failure instead of my startup failed or my business failed. Yes, failure is always painful. It has to be dealt with, but it does not define you. We all have an inner voice in our heads that's constantly in conversation with us. How we behave, conduct ourselves and take risks is hinged around that inner narrative. We need to be mindful of that narrative. If we tell ourselves, I failed in this venture, that paves the way for higher probability of success next time as Nandan says, if we tell ourselves, I am a failure, that paves the way for a downward spiral of self-doubt, anxiety and depression. So next time you fail in whatever you are trying to achieve, the question becomes, are you mindful of what your inner voice is telling you? Hi, this is Suman. Hope you enjoyed the video. I would love to hear your comments and questions. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the red button below and ring the little bell next to it if you want to get notified when the next video uploads. Till next time, let us remember that leadership is an action, not a position. See you in the next one.